Hey guys, Dev Horn here with my partner in crime, Mike Van Norden. Mike, how you doing, man? Man, okay. Survived I'm the storm. Doing I'm well doing well myself. Good. Yeah. Yeah, we've had some stormy weather lately, but you know what? Uh, think talking about brighter stormy, days, sunny stormy days weather. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's a good segue. We, we were kind of talking about the question: mm -hmm. um, Is 2023 the new normal in the real estate market? That's and a great so I kind of think for some of you guys, 2022 might have felt like a storm because, you know, things, let's face it, guys, have been going pretty well for quite a while yep. in this business. And I knew a number of these guys yeah. had been, you know, really uh, each year doing more yep. than the past. And we kept hearing stories about, man, it's just been such a fantastic year. And I think, year. look, deep even down, through the pandemic, yeah, even through which the pandemic. we thought was going to be, you know, the end of time. Turns out yeah. people did really well. And I think, <laughs> you know, it's amazing that I think that everybody, any serious investor in the back of their mind, sort of knew it couldn't last. Yeah. But I think the abruptness in how yeah. quickly things changed in the market caught people yeah, off guard. Yeah, yeah. A little thing called interest rates and, and a very <sighs> yes. aggressive Fed. In fact, today, as we did talk, they Did they go the, uh, quarter point? They did, they did not raise the rates not? today, okay. but they promised they're going to do it more, so the stock okay. market fell. Oh, great. <laughs> but, uh, boy, rates in 2022. Yeah. And like you said, Mike, we had to all know this was coming, yeah. right? But as it happened, it had a devastating effect on the housing market as people kind of took their ball and went home. Right. <laughs> they didn't want to play that, anymore. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and, um, you know, when you go into something, people had blinders on and then it happened really abruptly. Um, and I know that a lot of our licensees, you know, um, had they not had the stability of the brand and the reputation, um, it, they probably wouldn't have survived it. And that's why I think that, you know, webuyhouses.com is so beneficial because you've got the name brand and the recognition, whereas a lot of the smaller players yeah, in the market yeah. that were maybe startups or really didn't have a great infrastructure uh, are having a very hard time and very few made it. You know, yeah, I do think you know. there has been a shakeout. You know, it's hard to, it's hard to count, particularly all the wholesalers yeah. and such, but uh, I think there's been a shakeout uh, we've kind of seen it like one of the things we saw in the marketing side of this thing in 2022 is that uh, a lot of things that had been working really mm -hmm. well, right. kind of like shooting fish in a barrel, uh, weren't working that well anymore. And for example, pay-per-click. Mm -hmm. uh, now, there's still guys that did fine with pay-per-click, but in a lot of markets, uh, what we saw is that uh, frustrated retail sellers right. were starting to fill out the forms on the right. websites and, and click on the ads, you know, 50, $60 right. clicks in Google and come over and they're really looking to sell their house for and, now more than know, it's worth. Right, <laughs> and, and let's face it, there was a time when you could do just about anything and succeed. You could do direct mail, PPC, Facebook, referral networks, investor meeting, you know, but things have changed dramatically. Yeah, look, I, so I, you know. but I do think the uh, other thing that occurred is that as we came into 2023, uh, we got a few months under our belt of the higher rates and the rates continue to click up a little bit. But what, uh, kind of a miracle, I think, started to occur. Uh, people still bought and sold houses. Absolutely. Yeah, it's interesting because if you think about it over our lifetimes, we're young men, obviously. Yeah. And over our lifetimes, we've seen uh, interest rates go up and down and mm -hmm. what, six and a half, seven percent. Well, look, I mean, was probably was it, the norm yeah. for years. Uh, for many years. And, you know, prior to that, you know, in the, you know, you go back to uh, the early 80s. Uh, Carter administration was 17, 18% interest for a house. I mean, I remember my parents buying a home, I think it was 18% interest. It's like, it, you know, what's that, a credit card? I mean, yeah, it's, it's when crazy. you think about it, that really 6, 7% in the, in the scheme of things, not a bad rate. Yeah. So um, I do, and, and as we just mentioned a moment ago, uh, today was uh, the Fed meeting and Mm -hmm. And they actually, after uh, 10 consecutive increases, they've paused. Uh, and it does indicate that they're starting to see inflation come down. Uh, they're starting to 
see some of what they want to see right. in the overheated economy. They're trying to cool it down, and they they have cooled it down. Let's face it, cars aren't selling like they were, houses aren't selling, right. et cetera. But I think what, uh, why, do, why are we saying this is the new normal? I, I think it's because we're now in this. There's no magic wand that someone's gonna wave that puts rates back at 2% no. or 3%, right? No. Uh, in fact, we may not see that again for, or if at all for many years. So um, we're in the new normal. And what we're starting to see is a couple of things. Uh, number one, there are, with current demand, not enough affordable mm -hmm. houses. Uh, so right. there's still buyers out there. There's not enough sellers. and. Obviously, and we it, talk about if, yeah. If you're sitting at you know three and a half percent, yeah. Why would you sell? Would you so sell? now you've got millions of homeowners that are at three and a half, four percent, three percent. They're not going anywhere. Yeah, for a long so, time. So what you see in the market today is that the kinds of houses that most of you guys concentrate on, mm -hmm. uh, affordable homes priced below median in your market that those homes are still going for a pretty fair rate. In other words, uh, the price decline has not been very yeah. significant. And in some cases, we've actually seen home values continue to rise yeah. in that affordable segment. Well, here in DFW, because there's not yeah. enough product, right? Because, I mean, you've gone through this recently, you know, and it, it's like, I know that, you know, in our subdivision, I mean, the prices are starting to tick back up again. So... You know, it's like they did slump for a little while and now they're creeping back yep. up again. It's just um, because of demand. CNBC like a lot of demand. had an article a couple of days ago that basically said that looks like housing prices are kind of done dropping yeah. and uh, have started to bounce back in some yep. markets. And they're particularly talking about that affordable uh, kind of end of the market, the below median type stuff. But uh, so I think what does that tell us? And we're going to do another uh, video mm -hmm. here in a minute just on marketing strategies. but. It tells us that we need to get laser focused on finding uh, motivated sellers right. and that uh, if you can find them and flip these products, there's a, there's a great market right now for there affordable is. housing. Yep. Uh, you don't, I don't think you have to worry too much about values declining uh, unless, unless you're in the luxury end of this thing. Uh, and so the risk of, say, your asset yeah. value is dropping too much, that, that's it not... It seems to really have stabilized, to, uh, too I mean, much of a concern. for sure. You know, it's, it's, I think stabilized probably is the right word. I mean, it's, yeah. you know, it's not accelerating, but it's certainly not decelerating. Yep. So. Um, and days on market for, again, the affordable, affordable end of the market, uh, it varies obviously by market, but... The, those that I've checked in on recently, uh, still pretty quick turn yeah. in that in that affordable end yeah, of the market. For so, sure. so look, we are where we are. We are where we are, and uh, the opportunity is here in front Absolutely. of us. And uh, yeah, it's not 2021. You no, know? <laughs> and you can't expect it's, it, right? I mean, it, it's like, you know, I think going back to when you've had it good for so long, for what close to a decade. And then, like I, like I say, it's the abruptness of the change. It was very abrupt. But now, we'll, we'll you know, look, things that. are, yeah. you know, there's, let's just say, light at the end of the tunnel. Things have stabilized. So, yeah. great time to get, get in the game. It's a great time to be in the game, get in the game. And, you know, we just encourage you guys to, uh, you know, get out there and, uh, and succeed, you know. And, and if uh, you're part of WeBuyHouses.com, well, we're, we're here to help you do that. Absolutely. And if you're not, we'd love for you to consider being a part of the family consider. here yeah absolutely so i guess that, that's a wrap right, that's say. a wrap hey guys 2023 it's the new normal it is take care adios hey guys if you're not part of webuyhouses.com you probably should be or at least get some information about what we do so it's very easy to get a hold of me my direct number is 817-435-4446 817-435-4446 or you can stop it. Your phone number is going to be right yeah, here I, in, I know, in but, post. But I like say, I like hearing my voice. So okay, go ahead. So if you want to email me, you can email me. I'm sure I know it's back there, but it's mike at webuyhouses.com. Mike at webuyhouses.com. Would love to chat for a few minutes, see if you're a good fit for us and we're a good fit for you. And uh, that's a wrap.
That's it. Thanks for watching. Take care, guys. See you next time. Any